kuganira ijambo ry'Imana no gusenga ku gicaniro and be able to share the word of god and pray from this altar ikindi gicimana hayikora iri guhembura abantu bayo this is god's time to refresh his people turabishimira uwiteka ku haya byikorera and we appreciate the is doing it. Ndiya bireka rwose azabikora. God will never never fail us. He will do it. Mugambi w'Imana ni mwiza kuri twe, no kuduhembura no kutugirira neza. The plan of God for us is for good and to bless everyone. Turabo yiremeye, afite impamvu ikomeye icyashaka kudukoresha. We are his created people and he has a plan to use us. Buri wese abyemere ko ari gihece yemerera Imana imukoreshe. May everyone accept God's time and be ready to be used by God. Yeah, iyi tubonyira kora, iyi tubuze kutubura niko kudakora kwayo. When God does not see us available, he doesn't do anything. That's how God does not do anything. Tumazigiye tuganira uburyo bwo gukanguka. We have been sharing about how to be revived and, and come out of the sleep and, and enter in the glorious, more glorious step. The glory that God has prepared for us in Jesus Christ. It is possible that God can change you. And God is able to change me. See, there are people who do not change. Only those who think that they have arrived cannot change. People who think about themselves that they have achieved it and they have finished what they should do. People who think that they know it all, they know God more than others. Twese tuzarinda tuva muri yisi tutaramara kubona ubwiza bwayo no ku we will all leave this earth before we have seen God fully and known him perfectly. God is so big. And we will continue having a, a piece of revelation of him until we finish this career. Until we come to a greater glory of God. I tried and shared about that yesterday. That there is only one purpose of God for the church. It is that the church will exist. And the church will grow. And the church will, uh, will multiply. But we, we have shared about how the, the darkness system of the world, dark system of the world, does not want the church to exist, nor to grow or multiply. But Jesus said that even if the Gates of the hell will rise, will not prevail against the church. Hallelujah. I said about Pharaoh who thought that he would, uh, and he let the Hebrews and kill their children and stop the existence of the Hebrews. But Pharaoh did not know how they continued to multiply and how they grew stronger and the way mm, they were mm, liberated. Mm, mm. Amen. Even if the world will per persistently fight the church and the gates of the hell 
rise up the world will be taken by surprise about the growth and the multiplication of the church because it's in God's purpose that the church will grow and multiply if the Babylonian people tried to take away and carry into captivity all the children of Israel and took all the utensils from the temple and, and all the uh, utensils that were of great value from the church and took them but time came God alone in his great power God raised and God said, you see, mm -hmm. I let you mm -hmm. take them and ah, I release them to you. You took their daughters and sons and I let you do that. I allowed you to take even the utensils from the the tabernacle and I allowed you to do that and you kept them wherever you wanted in your homes and I allowed you to do that but time came one day where God said I cannot continue putting up with this uh, the time now you are deciding that you will use the holy utensils in, uh, from my house <laughs> when now you are deciding to do whatever you want about these utensils them by surprise down he came and he destroyed all that plan and then he rose some of the Jews uh, with power and they stood and the Jews who stood with God they began to intercede Daniel in 21 days praying and pleading with God when will Israelites come out of captivity when God saw that Daniel rose and saw that the, the altar of intercession began then God said time for you to leave Babylon has come. I will take you back in your country to serve ah. God freely. A lot of power of darkness that was covering the church and the different type of captivity that was holding the church behind. Now that the Daniels are rising to intercede. Now that prophets are coming together to pray. God is rising from his throne now. Just like he said to Daniel that from the time you began to speak. We from heaven began to send answers because you stood from the time you began to kneel down and pray, we were ready to answer Hallelujah. now God is up because we are interceding and answers are coming forth we will all know that God has answered because from the time we will see what God is doing. Now that God has begun to 
bring together his ministers. Ikimenyetso gikomeye cy'Imana igiye gukora. A good sign of the great things God is going to do. Tabwo itorero rizahera mu ntege nke. The church will not remain in no 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 bwisi itarizi. Even if the world does not recognize the church. No Even if the church seems to be very weak, but the church has great power. Even Pharaoh did not know the power that was in the He knew that he had control on them and beat them as he wanted. He knew that he would feed them whatever quantity he wants. He knew that he would use them without paying any salary. But he was shocked one morning when he saw the power he had. He realized that Hebrews were most powerful in his country. The corner where they were was known to be the weakest of the corner. Denied. But one morning they were proven to be most powerful. They were shocked by seeing that the plagues that are uh, being sent to different corners of the country. Jews and Hebrews were free from the darkness. The darkness was among the Egyptians, but the Hebrews were in a plain light. And, and the destroyer was going from house to house among the Egyptians, but the Hebrews were free from death Nibwo Pharaoh yavuze ngo tubabwamo Now Pharaoh knew ah, that yeah, yeah. something has come in us Nibwo Pharaoh yamenye ko yaratunza abantu atarazi Then Pharaoh knew that he was having people he didn't know Nibwo Pharaoh yamenye ko ari ubwoko budahuye nubwoko bwose yarayoboye Pharaoh knew that the people of Israel is a unique People. Paul says that we are like poor, but many are rich because of that. We are like but we are there every day. That's why Jesus also said, You are the light of the world. If you knew that. Isaiah said that the darkness is covering all the nations. But the light will shine upon you. Hanyuma mahanga zabagana bashake humuco izindi nzira zose zakoreshwa gazanagiraye And nations will come to you to seek for light because they have tried every hey. other way for vain Amahanga harazagera kananirwa Nations at some point they will fail to do what they should do Aha kuje subwo baziyambaza until they will recognize that the children of God are the ones with an answer. This did not happen once. It will again happen. Uh, remember, Egypt again in the time of Joseph. They had a problem and they didn't have any solution to that problem. Until they began to think in themselves, who in Egypt can give us the solution to this problem. And Pharaoh was informed that there is a man, a young man, a Hebrew man, he is in prison, but he's a unique man with a spirit 
of not the uwo abasha kumenya ibi byadushobeye arabishoboye he is able to uh to know and explain this problem we cannot explain harai sigari kananirwa abumwuka bakabishobora sometimes the world is taken by surprise and cannot do anything church can have the solution and the king was like shall i die because i cannot respond to this problem is there anybody who can explain and interpret my dream we are moving to a time and moment where the world will wonder where will people come to answer the question we have umwami yatanzise ngo mumwe mu mufungure mutananditse kwa fungwe asohoke gusa and the king said just go and take him from prison without even a, a letter bringing him back by order come ah, with him ah bamufungishe itegeko bananditse ibyo bandika he was imprisoned on an order with a document on that ariko kuvamo yavuyemo nta byanditswe nta nitegeko rishizweho but coming out he came it from the prison quickly without any law amategeka twikiriye abana b'Imana hari igihaza azamburwa gaciro bakaba b'Imana ishaka hadakoreshwa ndi mategeko the law and the decrees that have been holding children of god behind will sometimes be removed bef before we know it yagese imbere y'umwama sanga umwama ararushe when he came to king pharaoh he found him desperate ibikoma ngoma byari birushe and and all the powerful and principalities were also egiputa yose yari irushe the entire egypt was desperate abageze maravango ni mutuze ibi birakemutse and when he came he told them be have no fear this will be resolved be calm i will interpret the dream igiye kirageze kwisi yakira abanyamwuka bagatanga ibisobanuro kubitagira ibisobanuro to explain the hardest question to the world yarabibasobanuriye byose joseph explained everything umwami aravuga ati nuko ukubivuze nuko nyene ndumva ntuje and the king said that is it and i feel peace ariko ngarangize kubisobanurira basanga mu kibazo kiruta ikibazo umwami yarafite but after the interpretation of the dream they realized there is even a greater question than the king's question ko tumenye ibyari bihishwemo now that we know the interpretation alexi ibyo hishuye bigiye kutubaho nindu zabidukiza but uh, the revelation that we just received who will help us from uh, having trouble with that umwami arabaza ngo ni mushaka umuhanga w'umunyabwenge wadufasha muri ico gihe kibikugikira the king wondered find a man of wisdom who will help us to be away from the trouble that is coming and, and all the wise men in egypt there was no one. and in all the witch uh, there was none yes mubakoni koni bose baramubuze and and all the um um witchcraft people no one was able to do that ubwo bahindukirana abango turirirwa twirusha and uyubasha kubisobanura at a point they said why should we look for another how about this one who interpreted it uyu se yabidufashije akayobora igihugu mu kugira ngo akirinde kuzagwa mu kaga kinza why can't we use this one who had a revelation to help the country not fall in a famine aho se kera ndi ijambo paul yavuze ndi risohoye ngo batwita bakene Ariko nyamara dutungisha benshi Don't we see that what Paul said that we are seen like poor but everyone is rich because of what we do Ni gutaga kene gasuzuguwe gakuwe muri gereza Ari we babona mu igisubizo cy'igihugu cyose cyo igifuta How can you realize how, how how can a poor young man from prison ca can be a an answer to a, a whole nation of egypt nukuera gusakwariyo wari mu muka w'imana zera it is only because he was the one with the spirit of holy god 
Igie kirase kirana sohoye. Time is coming and it is there. Ubwa bafite umuka wa data bazakora ibyo butwari birenze ibyo abandi bashoboye. When all those with the spirit of the father will do great things every other person cannot do. Imani tegereje ko abera bakanguka ngo babigisubizo. God is expecting the holy people to rise and be the answer. Nimba Yesu yaravuze ngo mbagize umuco. If Jesus said that I am sending you as light kugira ngo mumurikira bari mu mwishima bose babone inzira zo kubaho. will shine to all those on the way to know where to go. Akongera akavuga ati mbagize umunyu wisi. And again he said that I am sending you as the salt of the world. No kwari bo yabonaga bafite uburyohe bwonyine bwa ryohesha isi. It's because only them were able to make the world worthy living. Isi ni muyitangarize ngo ni bihirwa turahari tuzayiryosha. Proclaim to the world that if the world is feeling terrible tell the world that we are there to make it worth it living. Nimubwira bari mu mwishima ngo niba batabona nibaze tubamurikire tubereke inzira umucurahari. Those in the darkness that if they don't see the way uh, they can see the light of the church and know the way. Ibyo ni by'Imana yatugize muri Kristo. That is what the Lord has made us to be. Nibya shubira dusaba gukanguka tukabyinjiramo. It is ours and we are supposed to raise up and enter the time of revival. Niyo mpamvu ejo nagerageje kuvuga ibyakanguye abandi nibyatumye baba badasanzwe mu gihe cyabo. That is what from yesterday I began to share about what made those revivalists to be able to work and help others. Mu byakozwe n'intumwa kabiri 142. Uh Acts chapter 2:42 Niho twasomye havuga ngo bahoraga bashishikariye ibyintumwa zigishaga bagasangira ibyabo no kumanyagura umutsima no gusenga The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 verse 42 that um and they kept their attention fixed on the apostles teaching and were united together in taking in taking of the bread in uh, and and bread and in prayer aha ngibi 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 ibintu bari bicayemo gusa byatumye ubuzima buhinduka babibwe isubizo mwisi these were the things they were really established in and the life changed after that bahora gabashishikariye mu byo intumwa zigishaga they kept their attention fixed on the apostles teaching bagasangira ibyabo no kumanyagura umutsima no gusenga and they uh, partake the bread and prayed iyo birebye nezo itubona babandi cyo bari barabaye cyo when you look at this you really realize what kind of people these were? Ichambere bari bari hanye bari yeza kugeza ubwo n'Imana ibishimira ko basanayo bafite kwera kwayo. First of all they were keeping on sanctifying themselves until God was approving their lives. Icaka biri kigaragaramo nuko abantu bari bari yeguriye Imana nimitima yose nimbaraga zabo zose The second thing is that these people had committed to God their heart their lives their strength mm. wholeheartedly Rekambira bakizwa banyumva Let me tell you the saved people Imana ndishobora kukwiyereka birenze ibyo wayiyeguriye God will never reveal to you to the degree disproportional to your commitment to him the more you engage into god's matter the more god will reveal himself to you when you follow their lives you find that 
all their possessions and all their lives and all their strength they had poured themselves into God's ministry hari ibyo dashobora kuba byo mu gihe hari ibyo ucisigarije utari arekurira ku mana there is a way you cannot be totally changed if you still have many many things holding to yourself reka subira inyuma mvuga aka kando icatumye Israel na Mose bavanu butunzi muri Egiputa let me go back and say this thing the reason why Israel and Egyptian took so much uh, riches from Egypt nuko bari ku rwego Mose yegeza ndabwira Pharaoh ngo kubera ko dushaka kujya gukorera imana yacu Uh, it, it was because that uh, when Moses said because we are going away from here to serve our God remember the discussion they had with Pharaoh saying that you old people can go but leave children with me here ariko yarambwiye ngo nabana bacu bosko bangana tuzabajyana gukorera uwiteka Moses said we will all go all and our children too abonyari byaramwe yatoke ni mugende ariko ubutunzi bwanyu bwose busigari naha and uh, he continued to bargain and said go with your children but leave your property with me here mose aramwira ngo kubera ikibazo cyo gukorera imana dufite hari imbere but moses said because of the need of serving god where we go Turashaka gukorera imana nibintu byose bishoboka we want to serve god with everything possible kubwiyo mpamvu ndi tuzasiga have ni ngarano bezinka zacu nzara zakutse kidushaka kuzisiga he said we will go with everything including even the hooks of our cows we will take kuberika dashaka kubisiga why they didn't want to leave it Moses afite inyota yuko bajya gukorera imana bakaruha bakajyana ninga zabo Moses was eager to minister before God and taking before God even their cows Ikindu cyose yatekerezaga ko bagomba kubikoreshereza mu imana yabo Everything that he thought could be of use to serve God Icyo yagambiriye cyose ko bagikorera mu imana yabo Everything that he had intended to use to minister before God. Ito chose bakivanye muri Egiputa, Egiputa yarakibahaye. That very thing eat mm -hmm. all and everything ah. they take they took from Egypt. Urwego rw'ibyo ushaka kujyana mu bwami bw'Imana ni rwo rwego rw'ibyo uzatunga. Uh, the, the level of your commitment and sacrifice will also be proportional of what God will entrust. Kugeza ubwo Mose ahindukirira Pharaoh to the point Moses would turn to Pharaoh he said not only we will take our things these things we have are not enough to you serve you even your hallelujah will take it too Amen. We will take even your things because they are useless. Give them to us. We will go and minister before God. Because God had seen already from their heart that they had given to God nange ndabibemereye and then God will say Na, i will support kuva muri Egiputa ngo muvane mu bukene you cannot leave Egypt and go poor imisi mumaze mu buretwe ihagije time you have spent in captivity is enough ubwo ari ngiwite kugiye kubasohora muri Egiputa now that i am engaged to help you go ndabakiza Egiputa i will deliver you from Egypt bakiza uburetwa i will deliver you from captivity you will be free from the beating i will deliver you from poverty that you have been inflicted in it. everything of that kind you will leave it behind because you are decided to come and minister whatever you want to use in ministering before me i say yes i will give it to you
Then the Lord commanded them to go and tell their neighbors. To tell them that give us give us the gold and money you have. We will go and serve God. You will find them already ready, totally ready to give everything to you. They will see the fear and the glory of God they had never seen before. They will see my favor upon you that they had Ibi, not seen before. Ibi, 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 and because of those two, you will take their riches <laughs> with you. Hallelujah. We, we spent so many years as the church without power without it has been so long now that our riches was covered somewhere mm. but if the zeal we have is for the ministry of the kingdom of God and if our thirst and, and eagerness is to serve God in his kingdom the riches the world has hidden will spit it out mm -hmm. so that we will take it and use it for God. The might the world has never seen with us will be revealed with the time. And the opportunities we have never never had before will be revealed to the church for the church to serve God. Okay. Let, let me come back in the New Testament. Uh, number 43 verse. And many believers Listen to that, but fear came on every soul, and all sorts of wonders and signs were done by the apostles, and all those who were at all the faith kept together and had things common. You see? They had fear of the disciples. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> These are the same guys who were threatened and beaten Remember few days before these same apostles were the ones who were hiding from the Romans and and the and and the law uh, keepers, the Pharisees. They were so fearful and could run away from Jesus and go and hide. But these are the same guys who are now together and they are together and they are bringing together all their possessions and their total commitment to God. Amen. Amen. And this is why God could say to them, now I see that you are totally committed than you were before. When Jesus called them, they were not ready to totally give themselves. Bringing their riches was not easy. And you remember, they are the, the same who were so much in fear so much in hide because of the Romans. Mm. Mm. 
Just like Egypt was really controlling Israelites when they were still in captivity, just like the apostles were so much in fear and hiding when they were not totally committing. Themselves. But now that Jesus is gone, ascending, no, no, they are totally committed to the teaching of the apostles. They, they are ready and they bring everything they have to the feet of the, the apostles. And when they gave themselves God poured everything that gave them power. God took fear from them. And things change it totally. Those who were threatening them were the ones to fear them. Woo. Those they used to fear are the ones fearing the apostles. Those who were so much greater than the apostles become weaker and the apostles are Greater now. And the Bible says that no poor man was found among <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Hebrews come from Egypt with no poor man among them. And the church is now rich with no poor among them. They are filled with the Holy Spirit and energized. The fearing becomes strong. Those who were threatened are now making other people feel very fearful. Those who were extraordinary become Simple and those who were simple become unique and extraordinary. And they began to say, How about these people we knew? Before? And we know their villages. They didn't go to school, we know. But where are they taking this power? And this How can they change in a moment? And, and those who watched them closely and they said because they have been with <laughs> Jesus for a long time. And secondly, he had sent a whole on them. They are awakened and no fear. They are awakened and no, uh, they, they are made stronger. And they are awakened and even poverty is away from them. Hallelujah. 432. Uh, uh, they have become to be strong and very much Strong. And the Bible testifies that there was no poor among them. Church, raise up and, and be made stronger. Church, be revived and, and, 
and and receive from God your worth. Dori bigiye kutubaho. This is what is going to happen to us. The things that were making you feel fear. Those things will fear you so much. And the things you were running away from. They will run away from you. And the life and riches that was not easy for you. But God is going to restore it for you because you have committed yourself to the Lord. That means that you are becoming a store house of the riches of God. When the power comes, things are turned upside down. The church has been so long under the oppression. But when children of God has understood themselves and who they are, then their glory shines even more. And their, their dignity comes back to them. And the world that has been ignoring them will recognize them. And they will say, we've been with this. Where are they from? We, we knew the church was there, but what has they become? They will inquire and find that they have been so long with Jesus. And they will know that the power has come recently upon them. And Jesus said, I will not leave you. Openly. I will send you a helper. The Holy Spirit that will come to be with you. We are going to receive that power. Remember, we will not remain as we are. We have been considered to be what we are not. The world has, think about, has thought about us wrongly. To the point the world had tried to convince us to be what we are not. If, if Hebrews did not have Moses, a revivalist, they would die without. <laughs> when Moses stood and rose and went to be with, uh, to speak to Pharaoh, they. And Moses was their son and a son of Hebrews. It is their son who was born from them, who became a revivalist among them. And the stronger than Moses is with us. And most powerful than Moses is, is in us. It is the power of Christ that is in our hearts. The, power, the Bible says the power that rose Jesus from the dead is working in us. The power that rose Jesus from the dead is the power that is working in us. Hallelujah. So everyone must, Hallelujah. must rise up and, and use the power that is in him. Let everyone rise up and use the power that is in us. Just like Moses was from them. So is with us, the power is not away from us. The power will only show itself up and 
and the world will be amazed by <laughs> what we have become eh ndavuze ngo isigiye kubona wowe musha utandukanye ni waruha hose saying that the world is going to see you anew ibyari ibinyembaraga bigiye kubikwa hahaguruka izindi mbaraga the strong and the stronghold will be um, put down and the power in you will rise up iki gitabo utararenga wenda ngo bice nko mu bice nk'umunani before you go to chapter 8 of act mu bice by'umunani urahasanga abarosi bakomeye bari hejuru aha imbaraga zabo zihindutse ubusa no no bagatangira gupfukamira bano barabanyantegenke in chapter 8 you will see that even uh, simon the sorcerer saw the power that was in the apostles and knelt down before them Simoni babakonikoni bageza ahantu baza bafukamye ati mwaduhaye kuri izo mbaraga ko za mizi zacu this sorcerer will come and say why can't you give us to the power that you have because because we are neutralized by the power you muri twe hagiye gushuga imbaraga simira imbaraga zindi zari ziswe ko zikomeye in us will be revealed the power that is stronger than the power in the world imani kumbuye kubona abo bana b'Imana god is waiting to see imani fitinyota yo kubona abo bana god is eager to see such people bagiye kuyirepresent abagaragaza ubumana bwayo mwese who will represent god and show the power of god in the world imani tasongera kugira isoni zo kuduhamya ko turi abana bayo to the point god will not be ashamed to testify about us to be his mu buryo imbaraga zose zari zaradutsikamiye zisubizwa hasa abana b'Imana bakaboneka so strong that the power that has been oppressing us will be destroyed and the children of God will be revealed uko babajije Yosefu ngo tubigenze dute kugira ngo egiputa ikundi beho they asked Joseph and said what shall we do so that Egypt will continue to be Egypt. Ukababa Daniel ngo tubigenze gute kugira ngo Babylon ibintu bigende neza. Just like they asked Daniel to say what shall we do so that the wise of Babylon will not be killed. Ni kwisi na isagera hinanirwa ikabaza abana b'Imana ngo igisubizo cyava. Hallelujah. So will be the world asking the church what to do so that everything will be well with them the answer is with the church raise up and and take up your power mwemere guturiza kubirenge muri ijambo ry'Imana sit and and be um, established in the word of god mwitange mwese nibyanyu mu bwami bw'Imana offer yourself totally and whatever you have to god mwiye gurira imana ah offer yourself to god murebe ko imana itazabagira ibiremwa bidasanzwe ikanaba hano gutunzi mutagize and you will see that god will entrust you with so much and you will have so much riches iyo wayiha ukinjiramo burundu ifata ibyayi kabiguha kuko mwamaze kubuya when you offer yourself to god totally god does not hold anything from him he gives everything to you kugira ngo mubashe kubiga isubizo cy'ubwami bw'Imana that you will be the answer for the kingdom of god munyemere duhaguruke dusenge shall we stand up to pray prosabiri torero kugira ngo rigaruka risubira neziri ya mbaraga we will pray for the church to to be given that power may the church rise up and and be restored in that power and be reestablished in the glory that we will be reestablished in the glory of god that and your man i ask